Yes. The Rankin Empire. Yeah. Are they being smuggled or are they being born? Both. Well, they wouldn't even be smuggled. Wouldn't they just be traveling? Yeah. They would. Yeah, they just travel yeah. there. Oh, okay. Like it's not necessarily easy to tell who a psyker is. Sometimes they are. They have like giant foreheads because <laughs> of because of psychic brain, but not always. Sometimes they just look like normal people until they use their powers. Okay. So what's the rough population of uh, the planet? Because you were saying how it's like one in a hundred million is born with psychic powers. Right? Yeah, it's, it's a very small number out of yeah but he's like, talking that's like per generation but he's talking about it as though they're dealing with psychers on a relatively regular basis so is it just a massive population or is it just a large influx of or is this something that I have to ask him in character even though I wouldn't know about those low numbers exactly alright I still say uh, that's something like Roger would ask in character uh, but not your dumbass <laughs> Not dumb, ignorant. Ignorant ass. So something like. So yes, anything else? I don't have anything I can ask. No, I mean for Joanna, Blank, oh. Flint, anyone. Uh, I'm just gonna ju- uh, speak to the group. I think Raya should be our first uh, stop. I think we should stop through Carcela. Right. I have not been that sounds like a good course of action. Go to Karzala and then Karzala. try and jump over to Greya. Mm-hmm. A sea route would be faster than a land route for sure. I yeah. agree with that. We are going to do the watercraft though for a cover. Something to get us across the damn Unless you're experiencing problems in Arstorf. <laughs> Arstorf. Yes, but uh, if this is the course of action that you think is is best than uh I suppose I can have a ship take you to Karzala and then have you dropped off on the edge and you can make your way by land to Graya. You had mentioned to me. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh I was just saying that sounds good to me, uh what were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna ask Tempest. Uh, you had mentioned that Karzala and Sanctuary are the places where you have the largest issues with psychers, correct? Yes. Is there any reason that those two cities in particular would be having issues? Or do you have any... Actually, do I even know about the Alknot Empire other than like the brief mention of them that he made? Nope, not really. Alright. So. Yeah, so. Uh, why those two cities in particular across the entire world would be having more issue with psychers than any other? I don't know. That's what I need you to find out. Uh, Would you say there's anything to draw them here? Or, once again, must we find out? Well, considering Sanctuary is probably one of the biggest trading ports in the entire world, that would be a pretty big draw. Sanctuary is the biggest trading port in the world. Yeah. Uh, did he mention that? Because I know I know that, but does Mercury? Because I can see this on the map, but I don't think the map. Well, that we we're, were all looking at this trade map, route. aren't we? Yeah. Well, we're looking yeah. at a map of the world, but it doesn't have the trade routes on it, does it? Yeah, this is exactly the map you see, basically. Oh, granted, it, the yeah. lines look nicer on the other map because yeah. you know <laughs> they're probably like didn't do this in one hour in Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you guys all have copy of this on a data slate that you were all given. Yeah. Well, I have no, a paper copy you all so have copies of it on paper. Yeah. Oh. Mercury is the only paper. person who put his on a data slate. Right. Which I should do that. Okay. Sorry, I was not aware that ours actually had the trade routes on it. I thought it was just a straight map. No, it's got the trade routes. Then never mind, I rescind my stupid question. Thank you. Well, as everyone... Okay. Yeah. That. I think I'm good. Yeah. Um. Because if everyone is, I have a couple questions. Go ahead, oh. man. Important questions. One. Budget. Two. Gear. We're gonna be gone for a while. We're gonna need money to survive, unless you plan on us just doing that ourselves. Which. Granted, we can do, but 
I'm not sure it will return the most or the best yeah. outcome. I will be. Well, if he's asking four people to go on a journey on a budget of ten geld, then yeah, that he's insane. not expecting much back. I will be equipping you, and I will give you a a month or two's advance on your salaries. I can deal with that. I'm happy with this arrangement. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, and I will also be uh, charting you the boat from Sanctuary to Karzala to the outskirts of the wilds by Graia. So you will not have to pay your way for that either, but your return journey will be up to you to acquire. That's fair. You get us there, or we'll get ourselves back. Yep. Look at that. Um, the Tempest. second question I have is the on one of the only things that wasn't returned to me was my bandolier, which had all my ammo on it. I'm riding on the one magazine in my rifle right now. Is there any way I can get more? What kind of rifle is it? La or no, it's a last gun. Okay, so it's a las weapon? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure the armory can spare a few clips of ammunition for you if you need it. That would be most helpful. I'm not very proficient at anything else other than my prized possession. And then I kind of just tap mm -hmm. my gun. <laughs> Why did you need a band of your charge packs? That's just how he carried them. Yeah. Oh. Because I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How many charge packs did you have if you needed a bandolier for them? I can't remember. And I always get scared. Um, Tempest, a couple things. Um, being that we are going to be journeying through like a portion of the Rankin Empire, um. What will we need to do to ensure our safety from others that maybe are not aware of our plans? Uh, I will give Joanna a uh, a writ of passage from myself and the prince. If anyone from the Rankin stop you for any uh, reason, simply show them this. Or show them that. Understood. Okay. Um. Then, uh, I do have some issues of my gear as well. Um, though minor, I, I am no longer equipped with ammo or a means to defend myself aside from my sword here. Oh, and what do you need? Um, at the very least, uh, armor from head to toe, and um, some sort of las weapon. Well, go to the armory and see what they can do for you. Tell them that I said to give you any uh, spare weaponry and armor that we can we can uh, afford. Mm. Oh, yeah. Who are you talking to, Blank? <laughs> yeah, no, <You>. Blank. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Okay, red armor. Um. I think the last little bit of business. Um. If we find leads or artifacts, would you like us to process them or? just bring them directly to you <laughs> whether they, they be people or 
objects of interest. If they don't appear to be too dangerous, you may uh, attempt to discern any use of them yourself. If, however, they are, uh, either find a way to send them back to me or eliminate them as the need be. Well, I suppose, lastly, um, who is your man in charge at uh, Karzala? Derp, derp, -a -dee, derp, derp, -a derp. Let's see, Karzala. What shall he be? <clears throat> Ah, oh, I believe that is, a uh, Sir Cutter Dorn. And I assume we are to trust him just in the same? Yes, he, he is a honorable man. I served with him in the army for a few years. Very well. Um, unless you have more for us, I, I do believe I will be stopping by the armory and then we will be retiring for the night. Very well. Does anyone else have any information or questions they need to ask? Uh, yeah, can you just give me the name of that contact one more time? Cutter Dorn? And he's in what city? Carzala. Carzala. Okay. Thank you. Anything else from anybody? No, I'm good. Uh, when would you be ready to make your travel? Um, we don't have any pressing issues in the city currently, right? can't think of nope. anything keeping me back here. We just need enough time to pick up any extra supplies we feel we need, and then we'll be able to get right on it. Very well. Then perhaps tomorrow morning, uh, if I can, or I will acquire you a ship and you shall leave tomorrow in the morning. Say around 10, 11. Sounds sure. good to me. Yeah. And he, he gives, he writes out a note and hands uh, one to Joanna, one to Flint, and one to Blank. The one to Joanna is a writ of passage signed by him. Uh, the Wait. one to Blank is to the armory, and same for Flint. Cool. And Mercury. Um, <coughs> nope, I didn't ask Mercury. for anything. No, yeah. I know. Sometimes All right, guys. Yeah, let's it's, uh, do it. it's time for luckness. You guys, you guys ready for luckness? Yep. Sure. Like the monster? <laughs> no, like get our asses kicked. <laughs> Aw, but I like the luckness monster. It is preferable to what is probably about to happen. Oh All baby, right. that money. He also slides two hundred and forty-six gelt over to Joanna. This should see you through at least the first two months. I will also be supplying you with uh, rations and uh, travel for the ship. Okay, that's what I was concerned about. So, all of my uh, worries are abated. I'm good. Excellent. Will you let us know when our uh, rations are running low? Uh, you're going to have like a thing to keep track of it. So okay. you guys will know. You'll be on it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I will just start... Okay. Like, you'll be like, oh, I haven't eaten in a couple days, and then look in the rations and be like, there's nothing left. Oh, no. But I'm not going to, like, warn you guys about that. No, I just meant you said he he's going to give us rations. I mean, mm -hmm. that's you'll not... You'll find out. I know. Fuck, Zach. Calm down. I'm so sorry, man. I got out of, out of line. Anyways. 
He he kind of waves you off, uh, thanking you as you exit. Mm. Slate, would you like to make a perception test? <gasps> sure. <gasps> Modifier? <gasps> None. <gasps> as you are walking out of the office, you uh, <coughs> notice the short girl standing in the back um, peering through a door leading out of Tempest's office behind him at you and just kind of watching you. Hmm. He turns and speaks to no one. Okay. Keep that information to myself. If you hear any screaming, let me know. Apparently my niece is going to be unsupervised downstairs. Good. Mm -hmm. Will do. <laughs> um, First, if we hear it before you, you know, there may be something Oh, I, I can't hear Dick with these no, things. but we'll hear it through his microphone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. You can realize you're noise canceling Yeah. Um, bum, bum, bum. Got the little girl. Did we already leave the room? Uh, you're just like, you're the I'm last person around. out. Like, you're walking out and you, like, turn back and see her. Mm. Do I want to book the beehive? Do I want to book the beehive? Book in the beehive. Good. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll turn around and go... Tempest, if I might ask, who is this young woman? It's a mm. point at her. He turns and looks and grimaces slightly and looks back at you. That's my sister Sarna. Your sister Sarna? Um, I, I believe I've seen her before at the the heralding you had the other day. Yes, I, uh... I don't like leaving her alone very often, so she often follows with me. Mm. Are you, uh, rather protective of her? Of course, she is my little sister. Mm. I can sound on with you. <laughs> Um, would you mind if I introduce myself properly to her? Nonsense. And he waves Sarna over and she stands next to his desk. Greetings, young one. She. I'm blank slate. She simply looks at you blankly. Quite the conversation here. I know, right? Um, <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I already know she is, but so it's kind of pointless. We're doing an experiment, Zach. We're doing an experiment. Doing what now? Do I have to make a lab? Yes. You have to write up a lab those. report. I hate those things. This is the worst part of high school. <laughs> really? Uh, the worst part of high school? Yeah. Because you got to do all the fun things, but then you had to write about it. <laughs> I don't think I want to poke the beehive that hard. That's probably the safest. Some, some kind of innuendo? Sure. Sure. God, it's tempting though. Yeah, it definitely is. So, as you um, stare at her for like four minutes, 
Yeah. Young one, can you speak? Yes. Wow, she's very manly. <laughs> yes! I expect some realism here. <laughs> She says curtly and in a very overly deepened voice to sound authoritative. <laughs> Red I guess, I guess I'll be courteous and then, uh, then it is a pleasure to meet you. I'll bow. She gives a very short bow back. Okay. I can't give me anything to work with, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying, man. I'm trying. We're, we're, we're doing an experiment right now. Social experiment. Afraid I don't follow. Okay. Um. Then I. Yeah. Okay. Did we all stop while he did this? Or we? Did we? No, you guys are. Left. Well, you guys are walking just out, yeah. probably to the armory or something. Alright. Well, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and bow again to Tempest and take my leave. Okay. Good enough. Bunch Good information enough. gained. That was exciting. Experiment complete. So yeah, you, uh, you see Joanna, Flint, and Mercury all uh, walking uh, towards the entrance of the palace, uh, beginning their descent down the stairs back into the square. Uh, I guess I'll look to the group, guys. Unless you have any objections, I'm going to go straight to the armory. I'm going with you. Yeah, let's all go. Okay. All right. Pick up my helmet or something. All right, you all head to the armory, in which you meet a very gruff-looking uh, smith. What do you lot want? I'll uh, pull out the piece of paper and show him. I've, I've been sent by Tempest he snaps to it out of your hand. some objects. <clears throat> he snaps it out of your hand and uh, looks it over for a second and <clears throat> walks back behind a, uh, a little curtain and when he comes back he, uh, he throws a las pistol Good. He throws a las pistol and a chain coat to you. Mm. You got some bad rolls, man. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh... He also mm. gives three las packs to Flint. Well, the I recall chain coats just cover my body, nothing else, right? Uh, it's like arm, leg, and body. It's everything no but the head. head. Yep. Right, we'll be the best thing to call this guy, not soldier, but armor. Ar armor. Mm. Smith. Yeah, Smith sounded too. I, uh, I'll take the last pistol and, uh, look at the coat and go, have you anything that, uh, would cover my body entirely, <clears throat> sir? Not that I'm want to spare. Well, it's not what you want, it's what we need, especially when Temptus told you to give it to us. Tempest from that wrote, magical little piece of paper. Tempest wrote whatever we can spare, and this is what I want to spare. And what the hell do you have to guard against? You're actually asking Armor, if, Armor, if you could spare a couple helmets, we would be most great. 
I'm... I'm sorry, but, uh... I, uh, I see no reason to, uh... Spare any more than I have. We're being sent out on a mission outside the city. And especially as an arbitrator, I would like to be detected as much as I could be. Well, I'm sure we can... Go ahead. I wonder if you would be willing to trade my sword here for a a, a set of perhaps guard flag armor. Yeah. I'll pull my sword out and put it on the counter. He picks up the sword. You'll you'll notice it is it has a monoblade edge. He picks it up and uh, begins looking over it. Which, by the way, you wouldn't know if it was a monoed edge. Not without, uh... Not without, uh... Sal evaluate, having told we... you. And, yeah, no one evaluated anything successfully. So as far as you know, it's a sword. I just wrote down so you could put it in the statistics that it's a monoed sword. So he, uh, he looks it over and... Throw in 50 guilt and you got a deal. That is a fifth so, of our two month salary. Yeah. Uh, good question. Do we want to spare 50 guilt? For slightly better armor. Well, he primitive has no armor. armor. Well, I have no armor, and primitive armor, if you're not aware, is halved against anything that's not a primitive weapon. Well, let's not also forget that it's 18 kilograms, which I don't know how much you can carry, but I'd like to assume it's less than 30. Um, What's 18 kilograms? The chain coat. It's 18 oh, kilograms. Yeah. It's pretty heavy. Oh, it is pretty heavy. Huh. I was like, guard flak is an 18 kilograms. <laughs> no, that's 11. <laughs> that is uh. significantly more manageable. So, real question: Do we want to spare the fifty gold? You guys, you guys are all armed to the teeth, and I armed really to the just teeth is taking votes. A bit yeah. of an exaggeration. Uh, well, Zach, what do you think? You say Zach? Yes. This is out of character. I'm trying to speed things along. Oh, okay. So you're asking Mercury? No, yeah. he wants. To just go. Just oh go. my god, do we want to spare 50 gals or not? <laughs> Danny, Are you asking a Jew whether or not he wants to spend money on someone else? Oh my god, I hate all of you. <laughs> Danny, stop. This is your own money, too. Uh, hey, hey, here's this. You, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, how about you and a couple of your your main guys that you that you work with? Why don't you guys go ahead and head down to the uh, the vulgar unicorn tonight? And my buddy Bones there will hook you guys up with some drinks. He laughs at you. Yeah. Yeah. What are you laughing for? I'm not going there. Oh, are you too good for the Vulcan? Come on, man. Pay, like two beers. You can't give us better armor for that. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hand over the fifty gil. Takes the chain coat. Takes the sword. Takes the fifty gil. Hands over guard flak armor to Blank. The chain sword or the mono edge sword? The chain coat and the sword. Oh. Anything else? No, I think we're done here. Very well, be on your way. <sighs> Let's head out. I look back at him. Hey, buddy. Nice manners. Oh, and, uh, you got something right there. Just antagonize the guy. Fine, fine, and then I close fine, the door behind fine. me. 
He pulls out a bolt pistol and just aims at the door. <laughs> Good. That's real smart. Now I see you're stupid too. <laughs> you closed oh, the door. I know. I didn't see that. I know. Uh, so you're just hanging out on the other side of the door calling him stupid? Yep. <laughs> um, now what kind hey, of last- I bet your mom's a whore too. He's gonna be standing there with that bolt pistol and he's gonna be like, How did he know? Um, but what kind of last gun was it? Pistol. Just the last pistol? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the regular one, right? Yep. Just the standard yeah. last pistol. And you have like two clips of last, the last pistol ammo. Okay. Delete. Delete. 